or not. Put this one in I like all of them. I don't care what breed they are. Oh, really. Dad, yeah. You know, like the starts with What else can you do? Yeah, you can use all that stuff. 1900. I would love to own one. That's awesome. It was like. Nice, but they need that dry, that dry heat though. Huh? They need that dry heat. American Crocs. American Crocs. I'd love American Crocs. That used to box for us. all over it. Somebody called me and then he didn't call me back. I was really pissed off because he was supposed to had Siamese crosses. China. Narrow Bridge. Mm-hmm. I wanted those real big. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. feeding it to the vultures that feed them. Uh, I mean, it's good, like I said, it's good if you're like, this one's not eating, because whatever the hell's in those pellets, uh, it drives them nuts. Uh, but, the the but if you're not having a problem, like I keep around just for that, you know, if I have a... Uh, so much charge for that one eight? What are you like to know? Looks like a female. Too. Here's back. Here's it a is a female. You want you want to offer me something? I can't refuse. It's underneath the plastic, we use the bobo. I know I remember those damn bags last night. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I want the old blue one though. Ooh, that's a tin oh, These guys are pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like these. Mm -hmm. You're this one. No, why not? This is the only one I like. This is my size.
Nice view. The hot hot one. The only other thing I brought it out to so far was a Jag, and that was because it was a really light collar Jag. And the, through the Arctic Jag is incredible. And you know, you, you, when I next next time I we do the show. <laughs> Go on YouTube, bro. Right, but you, but you, yeah, but you. Nice. You see the food that we eat. Yo. Why were you? Go, yo. Go around. Go to the back. Cut through the back. Hold on. Yo. Why were you? Go, yo. Go around. Go to the back. Cut through the back. I just didn't know which one it was. I know it's, it's, a, it's a package I have. Yo, park. Park and just come in. Come through the back. Park it. Okay. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to show what I picked up from the White Plains Expo. And... Usually, I usually pick up some snakes, some tarantulas, uh, something different. It's one. Two, three. I got Pac-Man frogs. Different sizes, different colors. Try and get out, so... I'm actually going to do the big one first, because she is eager to female. I do everything one handed. Uh, Alright. Got my 30 in my court right here. I'm gonna use Betty, I'm gonna use Jungle Mix. That's something else too, I just gotta find it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pause this real quick and I'll restart. Alright. Back to action. Uh, pretty much, this is jungle mix I'm using for the bedding. Uh, let me put her in so you guys can see. She can finally get out. Come on. So, this is ornate 
Pac-Man Frog female. And what you want to do is, for Pac-Man Frogs, you have to keep them in a moist area. So, you can't use tap water, but tap water, you know, amphibians, they soak everything through their skin. So, you got to use conditioner for the water, for the tap water, to kill the chlorine. So, amphibians, you soak everything through their skin. So what I use is pretty much I clean out the bottle real good with hot water, let it dry out for a few days, rinse it again, and I use the conditioner. I don't you, you could use a few drops because this is a concentrated. So I just pour a few drops in there, let it sit for a few days, and um put on these guys. You see how she's digging already? Get herself comfortable. So I just gotta spray this a little more, I gotta make a bigger batch. But these are one of the pickups. So pretty much what they um she's gonna eat some adult mice. I took out some frozen ones out. They'll they'll eat anything. So oh I almost forgot what else I'm gonna use. So they can hide. So they can hide better. I get a water bowl in there so she can soak. It's my first time using this. So, you know, they gotta feel comfortable so they camouflage. I'm understanding. Pull a little more. And that's the other one I'll show you guys in a few after I get this one set up. And pretty much they'll hide. Alright, let me set up the other one. Alright, here's the second ornate. This one's too young to tell if it's a male or female. <laughs> Already, that's always a good sign. These guys are actually, well, they'll eat anything you put in their mouths, they'll eat, they'll even eat their own kind, so it doesn't matter. So, superworms, earthworms, rat pups, mice, doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever they can fit in their mouth, they will eat. I'm gonna get a water bone, put one in there too for them. Let's up the other one. And this is the one I picked up from the last expo. It's a bino green. It's a bigger size than what it was. And I'm just gonna add this. I heard. <laughs> Try to get me, I gotta feed it. It's took out some I'm frozen, like I said. It's hungry. So pretty much is when you guys are gonna keep these guys, any frog species, you usually wanna use this conditioner for the water. Substrate, this is cobalt fi cobalt fi cobalt, um, cocoa fiber, sorry. Brain fart. It's supposed to be like a natural 
bio system, I have to get one more thing to have an all natural bio breakdown, whatever, for their poop and stuff. If you really don't want to clean it yourself the lazy way. So, just cocoa fiber. That's a jungle mix for all three. Just trying something else. Well, you can see the green on that one. It's the green, dark green. So, as long as your room temperature is above 80, it should be fine. So, I'll mix some more water. I'm going to show you the last pickup I got from the White Plains Expo and give them uh, my two shout outs. White Men Expo. Alright, last and final pickup I got for today. And, um,. My boy Juggernaut hooked me up once again. So here it goes. Now as you can see that this is a male. Now as you can see, it says on the top. Pastel Lesser. Times Pastel Mojave. So you know Lesser Mojave makes a blue eye Lucy. Now it's a pastel. So this might be a three gene, might be a two gene. Um, won't know until I grow it up and breed it. I'm actually gonna breed it to the Champagne Mojave. So let's get this out the way. I mean, I always wanted a snake, a blue eye Lucy, always wanted one, but uh, couldn't find the right one I wanted, so it might be a pastel, couldn't tell. I mean, if you can see the hints of yellow, but like I said, after winter gets bigger, it has the blue eye. Has the ivy red on the albino eye in the middle. Albino eye, the albino in the middle of it, the red eye, you can say. It's a beautiful snake. Sorry for those in the background. Wife is playing on Guitar Hero. And um, I'm going to give a shout out to two guys that I met in the expo. One was Dave um, with his two kids. Came up to me. What's up, bro? Give you a shout out. I hope I got it, Dave. Hopefully, that's the right name. Uh, and the other kid was named Anthony with his little sister and his brother. He has a YouTube channel, but I completely forgot to wrote it down. So, that's my bad if you want to write it down in the comment section. Totally my fault. Like you say, if you see me in the expo, you can come up to me. I have no problem saying what up. Kick the can with you. So picked up three frogs and a snake. But so I'm just gonna label this right now as a blue eye Lucy. The pastel, I'm not gonna know until it's full grown. I breathe to Champagne Mojave and we'll see from there. But that's the plans for this one. So I finally have a, a white snake. Very calm. Just gonna set it up in the tub. Wrap ups. An awesome snake. Go oh, ahead, shy. Definitely, it's a male. Let me know what you guys think.